Contrary to the evidence around my office, I've never really been a big space travel nerd. I've never watched any live rocket launches before, but with such little fun stuff happening in the wider world during the coronavirus pandemic, I found myself watching the recent SpaceX Crew Dragon mission with a surprising fascination. It's all very creatively inspiring. Of course it inspired a daily poster note. It blows my mind that the International Space Station is floating up there, and seeing the capsule approach the station inspired the drawing. One thing led to another, and I started wondering if I could make a little model version of the robot in the drawing. A while back I ordered a load of tiny solar panels from China without a great idea of how to use them. They seemed perfect for this job. The panels, a can of chickpeas from the local convenience store, and a fabulous selection of stainless steel tubes on eBay set the scale of the project. I figured that I may as well try and wire the panels up if I was going to use them on this project. I'm a poor engineer though, so it was a bit of a fight to get the panels wired up, particularly without them shattering. Eventually I got it working, and was surprised to discover how much power the panels were generating, even under the beautiful grey skies of England. If the project wasn't already out of control, it was definitely getting there at this point. I began wondering what I could do with the 3 volts of power and for a fleeting moment I had an idea of trying to power the dysfunctional Game Boy a friend recently gave me. I tried, but there wasn't enough current, or space inside the chickpea can, to power the Game Boy in the end, so I began wondering what else I could do with that energy. I ended up discovering the Arduino Pro Mini, which is not just tiny, but it only needs 3.3 volts of power to operate. And it inspired the final idea, to make this a completely useless robot. I figured out I could use the Arduino to drive a step motor to rotate the arms the solar panels are attached to. I could then use the power from the panels to drive the Arduino and its motor to rotate the panels toward the sun, to collect the power to drive the motor to turn the panels, to collect the power to drive the motor to turn the panels, and so on. Considering this started as a weekend project, I ended up spending idle time across the last month teaching myself to write a little C++ wiring and rewiring all the panels, and generally horsing around with tiny computers and circuit boards in the spirit of this pointless idea. Despite its ultimate pointlessness, I eventually got it all working. I wrote a program for the Arduino that, when supplied with the coordinates of my home, takes the time and date from the clock, calculates the sunrise and sunset times, divides the day into eight intervals, rotates the arms to better face the sun, as it appears on my south facing windowsill at least, eventually returning to its original position at sunset. And it all seems to work. Everything about this project is terrible I'm sure, my coding, the hacksaw job I did on a bunch of tin cans, and especially my wiring and engineering must all be awful, but it totally works. I'm sure it's embarrassingly unsafe and inefficient, but it's a push out of my comfort zone, and I now feel pretty proud that I managed to make it work. I now have a useless robot to take up space on my windowsill, but he looks happy to exist. Thanks for watching.